Thanks for watching our coverage of the 2024 World Crokino Championship. This is the top 16 round of the singles, and we just missed the first shot of Andrew Hutchinson against Darren Carr, as Carr there scores the 20 but fails to get the takeout. Hutchinson is right there with the response, though, and Carr... Oh, I thought he might have kept that on, but uh, choosing not to play on Hutchinson's side of the board, he peels and gets the miss back out of Hutchinson. Oh, over hit on the attempt to roll away. So another open board for Andrew Hutchinson. He's famously deadly with his 20s, but this one comes up shy. Takeout 20 chance for Carr. Second chance of the round, and he nails the takeout on this one as well. So Carr with a substantial advantage here with Hammer, although he'll need to shoot well to hold on to it. Hutchinson finding his range with the open 20s now. But Carr seems to have found his as well. He's up 4-3 to three with two shots left each. Hutchinson drops that one. Darren Carr, though, can guarantee a point with an open 20 here, which he gets. Hutchinson to make him shoot. In. 5-5. Five, five. This is last shot. This just needs to hit the house for two points, and it hits the 20 hole. Darren Carr sh shoots pretty well in that first round to score six 20s and win the first two points of this match. Some good shooting there, especially for that takeout 20. Carr to kickstart round two. Comes up a fraction shy. Hutchinson will look to build an early advantage with a takeout 20 here. But it sticks on him. Doesn't move forward at all. Carr has a chance to get right back. But he misses wide this time. Hutchinson from this angle will be looking for a roll away, which he gets. Probably didn't want it quite that far onto Carr's side of the board, but he may have been let off the hook here. As Carr let that roll too far into the 15 to play defense, he could probably pull this back. And I bet that's what he's trying to do. No, just plays for the hit and stick and played that at what I'd call table weight. That was just barely enough uh, power onto that red disc to get it off the board. Now going for a follow through and it rattles off a peg and away. Hutchinson, I think that came closer than he will have wanted. There's a chance off a peg here for Carr. Oh, and it nearly drops! Great try by Darren Carr. But another roll away opportunity here. A chance to play defense for Andrew Hutchinson. And that one goes very well. Carr has two shots left to try to manufacture a 20. He'll have to roll in here. Uh, he doesn't get it. Maybe... If he's fortunate, Hutchinson will roll over a little bit and leave a 20 opportunity, but I don't think he has here. I think all that uh, all that Darren Carr can hope for here is to leave his shooter in a tricky-to-remove position. Oh, and they, he got, honestly, very close to it, just a fraction over hit. And Hutchinson's able to make the hit and stick and secure the two points right back. And it was that defensive rollout that really made the round for Hutchinson. And now back to the open 20s. There were uh, surprisingly zero 20s scored in that second round. But now both players get on the board with their first shot. Carr makes it 2-2. Hutchinson just barely gets that one to go. And Carr is the first to air. That one missing just a little bit wide. Hutchinson with an opportunity to get away. Oh, he certainly tried to roll away, but he has definitely left a hangar 20 chance. Carr seems to think that it's best from an angle. And he gets it. Well taken there. Four shots left each, and we're tied in the 20s cup. That one bounces out on Hutchinson. A brutal bounce out. And a chance for Carr from the right-hand side this time, which he nails again. Two excellent takeout 20s from Darren Carr back-to-back -back give him an advantage in this round. But he misses long there. So with two shots left each, or tied in the cup. Carr has the disc on the board and the hammer. Hutchinson pushing for the 20 right there. It doesn't go. So where can Carr leave this? Just needs to not give a 20 chance to Hutchinson, and that's exactly what he's done. I bet Hutchinson will be pushing for it here, though. 
Just catches a whisker of the peg. Not enough. Carr makes the takeout for a 4-2 advantage here in game one of this top 16 round. And this is going to be a very difficult round. Every single point will matter as only the top two players from each of these round of 16 pools will advance to the semifinal. And these two players have both made it out of this round once. Darren Carr made it all the way to the final in 2019. And of course, Andrew Hutchinson featured in last year's final. And Hutchinson now has an advantage, although he can't convert on that hangar 20 chance. It was a pretty heavy one. Carr with an opportunity again. Oh, this is much easier for Hutchinson now. He has a great chance to go up, and he takes it. Hutchinson leads two 20s to one, and Carr comes up short. He had some great 20 form in, uh, in the odd-numbered rounds, but it hasn't quite held up in the even-numbered rounds. Hutchinson plays that really well to go up two with the hammer. And another one comes up short for Carr. It's wobbling a little bit, but that isn't. Hutchinson nails the takeout 20 to all but secure this round already with basically three shots left each. That one stays up, so there's a breath of life for Darren Carr here. It would take a minor miracle, I think, for him to get a point out of this, and all he could get would be a point, and not to be. So a takeout here for Hutchinson will secure his two points. And as these last shots play out, good push from Hutchinson with his last, but 420s to 2 in that last round secures it, and he has earned a tie against Darren Carr. They split 4-4. Some good highlights from that match. Do stick around as there will be plenty more from this round and much more from the 2024 World Crokinoe Championships.